the skill that you have given to him, Lord, that he's able to be playing on our music, Lord. We thank you for his presence. We thank you for his coming, Lord. May you bless him, Lord Jesus Christ. Bless all his uh, nearest of kings, Father God Almighty, back from Nigeria, Lord. We also want to commit him before thee, Father. We pray for our sisters, Father, that are still, Lord, but waiting upon thee, Father. You say, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall run like eagles, Father. They shall not be weary, Father. Our two sisters are waiting upon the Lord for them to be able to be back with their children, Father. Lord, we are the restorer of God Almighty of every good gift that you have given unto your children. May you bring a total, complete restoration, Father, of their children to their, into their homes, Father. In God's own time, Lord, we believe that you'll be able, and you are still able, to bring it to pass. We thank you, Lord, for your blessings. We thank you for your grace. We ask all this, Father God Almighty, even our little ones and all together, that we now sing the hymns of Zion's Father. May you warm our hearts, Father, and prepare us for the preaching of the word to come. We ask this believing in Jesus Christ's precious holy name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Let us try to sing. Amen. I didn't, I didn't, I forgot to mention. Amen. We've got our precious brother, Joshua. Amen. You're welcome. Amen. I, I, he gave me a telephone call this morning and I just took it that he made it somebody of around year what for. I didn't know him, so I was a bit preparing, so I just didn't spend some time on the phone with him. So I got a chance to speak to him now. He's actually from Nigeria. Amen. I forgot the pastor. So the pastor, Pastor Ben Ogu, who believed the message of the hour. Amen. He's, amen. He's been around here for some time. He came in September as a student, amen, but was just settling down, amen. He is quite close to the Adelum family, amen. He knows Brother Adele, he knows Brother Joshua. He's a friend of Brother Joshua, amen. So he's welcome, he is home, amen. Amen. When Brother Joshua and Sister William and daughter, when they come over there, this is their home, amen. So you are very much welcome among us, amen. Amen. We will get to know him as we go along, but he quickly found his position, amen. <laughs> Amen. You could just set your down. Amen. I think we might need a bit more two pianos. Amen. Because we're trying to teach our little one as well to play piano. But we learn as well from him and we learn from each other. Amen. 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 So let us sing a song. Amen. There's a song that just came to me when I stood here. Amen. I was trying to, I was playing it as well, it is well. But then some of you might be familiar with it. Some of you, I don't know, you might know it better than I do. Amen. And God by says, is alive and well, living in me. To tell the world that he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus is alive and well. Amen. amen. We we'll just repeat that chorus. Amen. As we go along. Amen. And then uh, if we are able to find it later on, we will put, we will go to the stanzas. Amen. But even if we sing the chorus alone, for me that would be good. Amen. amen. It goes by. I mean, I might not be good in the in the, in the keys. Amen. He is alive and well. Living in me, it will tell that he is the same, is the same yesterday.
and we that love the Lord, let our joys be known. Amen. Amen. Join the song, sweet accord. Amen. Come we that love the Lord and let our joys be known. Join me in a song with sweet accord. Join me in a song with sweet accord. And as I love the Lord and as I love the Lord, with Lord we are not a king to come by all.
Thank you. 
Father, for such tremendous, tremendous, measureless love, Lord, that, Lord, you have bestowed upon our hearts, Father. Lord, we knew not, Father, that there is such a great love, Lord, that goes beyond any measurement, Heavenly Father, that we can have a full test of that love, Lord Jesus within our soul, Lord. And that love you shown it unto us, Father, when you could have sent angels, when you could have sent anything, Lord, you said, no, let me go myself, Lord, Heavenly Father. You came down as a God in a son, Heavenly Father, to die for our sins, Lord, to redeem us, Father, Lord, back unto thee, Father. Such tremendous love, Lord, we cannot hide the emotions that come along with it, Heavenly Father. We pray, Lord Jesus Christ, as we now enter the second moments, Father, to ponder upon that love that you have shown upon us through thy way. Father, I pray that you will send the action of thy spirit, the Lord, in thy way, Heavenly Father. Lord, may we our hearts be wound, Heavenly Father, with just great love, oh God. That whatever we do, Lord, we'll be doing it with that love of God within our hearts, oh Father. May you express your love to your children this afternoon, Lord. Express your love to each and every one in the pews. Express the Lord your love to them that might be streaming later, oh God. We ask a mighty blessing upon Almighty God, the name of the weight, and Almighty God, the contest thereof, Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah, amen. You may be seated, amen. You can take your seat, my brothers, amen. Amen, hallelujah. Just to bring some few announcements before we the reading of the word, amen. Like I said earlier, we'll be going to um, the Hayes Conference, amen. If you want to be partakers of that, amen, you can also um, show forth by just letting me know. This Today is the last announcement, amen. We need to be giving the, the names by Monday, Tuesday, amen. To be given to them. There's a commitment to all to eat. Um, last time we were able to kind of help out those that may not be able to 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 make it, amen, uh, financially, but on this occasion our funding is a bit low. So we are asking for you to just take consideration of yourself. And if you want to take consideration of others, please let us know. We'll be happy. Amen. Because there are others who are among us, among us that may not be ready at this moment in time. Amen. Um, we will also have service this coming uh, on the Christmas day, amen. Christmas of this world, which they consider their Christmas to be the 25th of December, but we know it's not the 25th of December, amen. We will have our normal regular service, amen. So we also want to find out the transport logistics of how we are going to do that, amen. If, they, if them are having their own celebration of Christmas and we also are Christians. We should also try to reach out to them. Although they are in their heirs, we will reach out to them and then we will correct the error. Amen. Amen. We know that Christ is born within our hearts. Amen. Amen. That Christ can be born within our hearts every day. Amen of the year. Amen. Amen. Not on any, any specific day. Amen. Amen. As we stand, can we uh, stand up on our feet and we'll be reading the scriptures from Mark chapter 10. I was trying to bring my son to this side because I, I love his singing, amen. I love it when he's singing, so I was listening to his voice, amen. But also, I was also trying to balance my eyesight, you know. Sometimes when you've got more people here, these people get neglected, amen. amen. So I was trying to get a little bit of the other people on this side, amen, so that my attention can be drawn on both sides of the of the arm, amen. The, thank you, amen. God bless you, amen. Um, let us read from Mark chapter 10, verse 17. It's a common scripture, amen. We, yeah, we gave out tip of the week on, on investments. There were about five of them, amen. Our intention was to speak on spiritual investments, amen, from the announcement last week, amen. Uh, and that was because we were putting some office barriers of trustees, amen, and read out the pilots of Branham Tabernacle is a sovereign church. And we also compared the bylaws of Granam Technical as a sovereign church to our own bylaws here in Watford, amen, as our own sovereignty as well, amen. So we have not yet been able to release the tape uh, because we, 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 it was uh, an audio, I will try to release it later. Um, the part two portion of that message, I've decided to put it to the following, um, to the following part two where we shall be ordaining the the, the office the, the officers amen and then we shall speak on spiritual investments on at that time amen so today we are going to speak on um, God reviewing amen the ambitions of our faith amen 
we will just God will bless us on that uh, subject. Amen. So in here we hear about a, a young man from verse 17. Amen. And when he was gone forth into the way, there came one running and kneeled to him and asked him, Good master, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? And Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. Thou knowest the commandments. Do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, defraud, do not honor thy father and mother. And he answered and said unto me, unto him, Master, all these things I have observed for my youth. And then Jesus behold him, loved him. Amen. And said unto him, One thing thou lackest, go thy way, say whatsoever thou hast, and give to the poor, thou shalt have treasure in heaven. And come, take up the cross and follow me. May the Lord give you blessing to the reading of the word. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You can be seated and I'll read another portion of the scripture. Amen. Found in uh, Hebrews chapter 11. The volume seems a bit loud. Sometimes I like it loud, sometimes it feels like I'm, a, I'm, I'm shouting to you, so I don't want to be shouting. Amen? Amen. My voice goes up and down. Amen? Mm. Yeah, if maybe when I need it louder, I will let you know. Amen. Amen. You will chapter 11. Amen. Verse 1 says, Faith is the substance of things of form. The evidence of things not seen. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen. For by it, this faith, the elders obtained a good report. Amen. Amen. So there is something about faith that it is able to do. Amen. Amen. It is able to give us a good report. Amen. Amen. It means that faith does not just lie idle. Amen. Amen. Faith, something happens when you have faith. Amen. Amen. That faith gives you the attention of things that you are hoping to get. Amen. Amen. But before you have it, you have the evidence of it. Amen. Amen. You have the substance of it. Amen. Amen. It's not something that you are able to see. It's not something you are able to touch. It's not something you are able to, to feel. Hallelujah. Amen. It's not anything that you can control with your five senses. Amen. Amen. But it is there. Amen. Amen. It is the substance. Amen. Something that tells you that this thing that I'm praying for, this thing that I'm hoping for, is going to happen. Amen. Amen. It has an anchor somewhere. Amen. Amen. It has an anchor in the substance. Amen. Amen. The substance of that faith, amen, amen, is the way that faith rests upon. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. So faith rests upon a particular substance, and with this substance, amen, amen, you are able to tell that whatever you desire, whatever you are praying for, you are able to obtain it. Amen. amen. You do not just obtain a bad report of it, amen, you obtain a good report. Amen. amen. It's been proven down through the generations of the Bible, amen, amen. by the elders. Amen. amen. The elders who, have, who, who, who came before us, amen, amen, have written of how much they were able to do, amen, using this thing called faith, amen. amen. They had ambitions in life, amen. amen. The things that they wanted to be in life to have, amen. amen. And because they obtained this faith, amen, they were able to obtain a report, amen. 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 Through faith, we understand that the world, amen, were framed by the word of God. Amen. Paul here is trying to give an illustration, amen, of what faith is able to do. Amen. amen. And how it operated. Amen. amen. Before the world began, amen, before there was an atom, before there was a molecule, amen, amen. God was there. Amen. amen. He was a self-existing one. Amen. amen. He was existing without time, without anything. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But he wanted this expression of himself, hallelujah, to be felt among his people. Amen. amen. He was a father. Amen. But there were no children there. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. And he wanted to his attributes of his father in nature to be seen. Amen. amen. He was a savior, but there was no one to save. Amen. amen. So he wanted the attributes of being a savior to be seen. Amen. amen. He was a healer, but there was no one to heal. Amen. amen. Because there was no one who had fallen sick at that time. Amen. amen. 
Alléluia. Il va se dire, voilà. Amen. Alléluia. Tu dis, voilà, Dieu, that may be bound in certain spirits or bound in certain prisons. Amen. Alléluia. He was a restore, hallelujah, to them that might lose the thing that possessed to them and they lose it for a season and then God comes and restores it back to them. Amen. Amen. But he could not express those things when he was alone. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So he had to create or do certain things so that his expression of his attitude could be seen. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And he condescended from his self-existence, amen, amen, into a higher code, the locus, amen. amen. And in that locus, he would, that may not mean that he was not there where he had been, amen. amen. He was there already because he was ever present, amen. amen. But he was trying to express himself amen. by coming out of the self-existing one into something that can be seen. Hallelujah, amen. amen. And when he was coming out, hallelujah, he became the sun, amen. amen. Because the sun is he that comes out of something, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Naturally speaking, our sons may come out of our fathers and mothers. Amen. Amen. But in the spiritual area, God was coming out of the self-existing one Amen. into the Logos. Amen. Amen. And in that Logos, it was the weight. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And in that Logos, he was able now to start operating. Amen. Amen. He was not able to start operating how his faith Amen. Amen. was going to be seen. Amen. Amen. And then through faith, we understand the world will framed by the Logos. Amen. 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 Because the Logos is the word of God. Amen. 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 In the beginning, what was was the Logos. Amen. Amen. It was the word of God. Amen. Amen. And the Logos was God himself. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And he said, so the things that are seen, what we are able to see, Amen. were not made of those things that do appear. Amen. 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 It isn't that when we make this wood to connect with this one and the, to connect with this one what is appearing is what was made of it. Amen. Amen. Naturally speaking we, we have to take the timber and cut it and so forth. Amen. But what God was doing, hallelujah, he was only using one thing. Amen. Amen. And that was the word of God. Amen. Amen. He heard what his ambition was going to be. Amen. Amen. He heard what his creation was going to be. Amen. Amen. And because he had that creation and that ambition and that word of God, he was using that substance. Amen. Amen. Of the word of God. Amen. Amen. So that when he expresses what his hopes are, Amen. What thing that he's able to attain to, Amen. He could get it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Why? Because he's using a particular attribute that was within himself. Amen. Amen. And that is faith. Amen. 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 So the things that are paying were made by the word of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And as he spoke, it would be so. Amen. Amen. Now, what we are talking today about is God reviewing, amen, amen. the ambitions of yes. our faith. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Because his faith, if we have faith, amen, when God calls us, amen, he gives us ambitions. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The greatest ambition that a, a God called son or daughter would have, amen, is to be like God himself. Amen. amen. What God is, amen, a son or a daughter of God wants to be the same as God. Amen. amen. Regardless of how much majesty he has, regardless of how much great power he has, regardless of how much great holiness he has, regardless of how much righteousness he has, Amen. when God calls a son, when God calls a daughter, he wants that son and daughter to be like him. Amen. Amen. Why? Because back before the foundation of the world, he wanted to be a father. Hallelujah. Amen. He wanted children. Amen. Amen. Who are going to be like him. Amen. Amen. So when you come, hallelujah, and he gives you an ambition to be like him, we are only expressing the ambition of God. Amen. Amen. We are expressing what God's ambition was Amen. at the beginning. Amen. Amen. We are expressing what God wants you to become. Amen. Amen. God does not want us to be bound and sad and unhappy, hallelujah, when God is full of joy. Amen. Amen. God does not want us to be troubled and distressed and with fears and worries, amen. When God is a God of peace, yes. amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. God does not want us to be hateful yes. at each other, yes. angry at each other, yes. being very contentious and arguments and hatred and saying bad truth. When He is a God of love, amen. amen. He wants what He is to be in us, yes. amen. That's good ambition, amen. amen. And when you have an ambition, hallelujah, the greatest ambition that you can come to God with is to have God's ambition within you. 
Amen. Which is to be like God. Amen. Hallelujah. So when we are reviewing the ambitions of God, that's the time I was saying, amen, that we're always towards the end of our of, of, of the year. Amen. There's this thing among us humanity, amen. All of us included, amen. That we start looking upon the year end. Amen. amen. What is it that we've been able to do along the year? Amen. Hallelujah. And then we start looking upon the upcoming year. Hallelujah. What is it that we can do better than we did not do this year? Amen. amen. A lot of people do that as a one-day thing on the 31st of December. Amen. amen. But then just after that, on the 2nd of January, they forgotten about it. Amen. amen. Because if they are not careful, they will not sober enough to make those decisions. Amen. amen. And they are just saying, ah, next year I'm going to do A, B, C, D, that is my goal, amen. But they're not really sat down with a bit of soberness to kind of review exactly what is going on. Amen. amen. Uh, Hallelujah. Amen. amen. While preparing, amen, I was just thinking about how people, amen, generally speaking, amen, all of us, amen, every day, oh, thank you, every day we have moments at the end of the day, when we pray, amen. amen. Yes. If you are a little child of God, you pray in the morning, you pray in the afternoon, you pray in the evening. Amen. amen. But most of us don't seem to be caught up with the cares and burdens of this world that we miss the afternoon prayer. Amen. amen. Which we should not miss. Amen. amen. So that's a point of review. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says, redeem the time. Amen. amen. As you redeem the time, you take yourself a portion to pray. Sometimes you might be just in a closet somewhere, you make a short prayer. Amen. But in our morning and our evening prayers, amen, we do a lot of reviewing, amen, amen. To review is to look back, to consider what is happening, amen, to check up, hallelujah, whether the thing that we have been doing, we have been able to achieve it, amen, and then after you've reviewed it, amen, then you are able to put actions, amen, and new goals, amen, and move forward, amen. That's what reviewing is. Amen. 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 So at the end of the day, we start looking upon what is it that today I've been able to do. Amen. Amen. If you do not have this lifeline skill, amen, please consider this skill. Amen. Mm -hmm. the, most preachers often say, um, if you can take one weight for, in this sermon, take this. Amen. Me, I don't want you to take one. I just want you to take as many as the Lord shall give you. Amen. But take this one. Amen. Amen. Every end of the day, amen, whether you are young or old, amen, make it a lifeline skill, amen, amen, that you look upon the end of the day and you say, what is it that I was able to do today, amen. amen. You will make a bin at work, amen. Consider how much you were relating to your people at work, amen. amen. You might have been in school, amen. Consider how much you were relating in school, amen. amen. You might have been at college, at university, and you might have been caught up with the business of what the world has got to do. Amen. Amen. Even in those businesses, what you have got to do, consider whether you've met up your target for the day. Amen. 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 You might have been given tasks to do at work. Amen. You look up at your work, have you been able to do? Amen. Many times, some people only do one half or two or even little. Amen. Amen. Because of what the, the nature of the work is. Amen. Amen. But you are considering. The most important thing is you are considering. Amen. Amen. And then you plan for the next day. Amen. Amen. Praise. Amen. Many people want to plan for the next day, the following day. Amen. Amen. Already you are going into your sleep with a bit of wine. Amen. Because you do not know how the day is going to be. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But if you want to have a lifeline skill, amen, you start planning for tomorrow, the day before. Amen. amen. You say, tomorrow I'm going to wake up at this time. Amen. I need to pass at this time. I need to catch the bus at this time. I need to go to work at this time. At work of A, B, C, D, amen. If we are able, if, if some of us were getting a little bit old, we do, our memories are a bit lax, write it down. Or in these days of technology, put it on your task, amen, or laptop or somewhere, amen. Or in these days of modern technology, you can have a reminder, amen, or, or a note, amen, so that you will not forget, amen. Why? Because you want to make sure that that thing that you've got to do tomorrow, you want to achieve it, amen. Amen. It's like reviewing and reviewing the things that you have not been able to achieve, but you want to achieve them tomorrow. Amen. 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 Then the day comes, amen, and then you start putting yourself into action. Amen. amen. Yes. Of the things that you have been put yourself as a task. Amen. 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 And as a goal. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So on that time when you are reviewing the following thing, amen, you are actually setting a goal. You are setting an ambition. You are setting a desire. Amen. amen. And if you bring back to the scripture that faith is a substance of things that you set up, amen, of things that you want to do tomorrow, amen, 
of things that you want to achieve. Hallelujah. Amen. So you cannot have any faith when you don't have anything that you are going to achieve for it. Amen. Amen. So if a person you have not have some form of goals and achievements. Amen. Amen. Then the week the day passes. Amen. Then it gets up to Sunday. Amen. Then you look on Sunday and say, oh, what have I been able to do this last week? Amen. Did I meet up with my goals and my targets for the week? Amen. This is a good skill. Amen. Because it will help you to build up, hallelujah, Amen. your ambitions. It will help you to build up your goals. Amen. Amen. Then you say, okay, I was not able to do ABC that week. Amen. Or we have got a new thing that has come up during the week. Amen. That in this coming week, I need to buy a car. This coming week, I need to do this. Amen. Amen. You are setting up another weekly schedule again. Amen. Amen. Because you know that that thing that you've got to do cannot happen overnight. Amen. 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 It doesn't happen just on the Monday. Amen. Amen. It needs a period of time of about seven days. Amen. Amen. And in those seven days, you are now able to say, okay, I need to make that phone call to my prospective job employer. Amen. I need to make that phone call there. I need to put up my CV there. We are making plans. Amen. Amen. But you do not just let your plans lie idle. Amen. 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 As a child of God, hallelujah, Amen. you bring those substances. Amen. You bring those things that you want to achieve. Make on the altar. Hallelujah. Amen. Make as a painting. Amen. Amen. And you bring it to the Lord. Amen. Amen. The idea behind bringing it to the Lord is the people that have used faith in the time past. Amen. Amen. When they used it, they got a good report. Yeah. Amen. And God has got this principle. Amen. That if you come in the same condition, under the same circumstances, than what somebody else has been able to do, God is going to be able to give you the same result. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why we have the testimonies. Amen. Amen. Testimonies, they are there to give us faith that somebody who is able to do it, you can do it also. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Can I start say something just there? Amen. Amen. Or just comparing yourself with other people. Amen. Amen. Comparing yourself with other people doesn't mean that you're in a competition. Amen. Amen. There's no competition with God. Amen. Amen. God does not want us to be competing one to the other. Amen. Amen. You are an individual and you got no one else to compete to. Amen. Amen. Except to measure yourself with the word of God. Amen. Amen. When you start to compete with your brother or you compete with your other sister, you end up in envy. Amen. Amen. And envy, being an envious person is not a good thing. Amen. Amen. Because you wish that you could beat that other person. Amen. Amen. Now your ambition is now set up wrong. Amen. Amen. Because ambition has got two parts. Amen. It's got good ambitions and it's got bad ambitions. Amen. Amen. When you set up your ambition in order to compete with a brother, in order to compete with your sister, you are setting up on a wrong motive right there. Amen. 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 Don't say, oh, I want to be better than Brother Luke. Amen. Because you are not Brother Luke. Amen. You are your, you are your own self. Amen. Amen. Just look at your own self and say, my ambition is with myself. Amen. 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 And then when you end up in ambition of one another, you end up in contentions. Amen. Amen. Yes. Now you are, you are doing another wrong thing. You are now trying to fight to be the best. Amen. Amen. Why? Because you think that I if I am the best, I get the most, in the most applaud, I get the most appraisal, I get more popular, I get better known. Amen. Amen. And then when you are trying to be better known, hallelujah, you then end up thinking that you are a big somebody. Amen. Amen. When God does not operate like that. Amen. Amen. Yes. In the natural, on board the world, some people say competing is good. Amen? Amen. Because it gives you the ability to drive yourself into another, into another stage of being able to attain those things. Amen. Amen. But when it comes to the word of God, there's no competition. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You are yourself by the uniqueness of yourself. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. So this week passes. Amen. And then at the end of about four weeks or so. Amen. The month just comes to an end. Amen. Amen. And then you start looking upon the things that have happened in the past month. Amen. Amen. And you wonder, what is it that we are able to do in the past month? Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And you start looking for month after month after month. What is it that I was able to do the month before the last month? Amen? Amen. If I was not going to look at that God ourselves, I would say, oh, okay, praise God in the month of November, we had meetings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We had testimonies. Amen. Amen. We were able to do something. Hallelujah. We are glad and rejoice about it. Amen. Amen. We go back in the other previous month and say, oh, we traveled to Zimbabwe. Amen. Amen. Because of a thing we were able to review and, and praise God about it. We go back in the other month and say, oh, we're in haze in August. Amen. Amen. You go back and you sit going back. And, oh, in, in just a few months before then, we're in nowhere. Hallelujah. Amen. You are always reviewing the things that you are able to do.
able to do. Amen. Amen. And then you view, you count your blessings. Amen. Amen. Count your blessings, count them one by one. Amen. Amen. Why? Because you are seeing what God is doing in your day to day. Amen. Amen. You might have made mistakes, surely you did good, and maybe many. Hallelujah. But in praise of God, there's a precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ where you can go and confess all of them and they will be forgiven that they will be remembered no more. Amen. Amen. So when you look at yourself and you look at your picture, amen, of things that we've been able to do a month or a week or two days before, if they are under the blood, they have got no report. Amen. amen. The only report that comes are the things that are of good report. Amen. amen. The things that God was able to do using your faith. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Every three months or so, amen. The world has got seasons, amen? Yeah, the seasons change, amen? Hallelujah. You've got autumn, you've got the winter, you've got the spring, you've got summer, amen? Yeah, man. Every three months or so, the seasons of the world change, amen? amen? And in every season, there's a certain atmosphere. Hallelujah. There's a certain conditions, amen? amen. <laughs> we were just talking about this season of winter, amen? amen? Of how cold it is, amen? And some people will say, hey, 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 hey. don't take that note, they are going to kill you, amen? We're advising, you know, another brother, amen? Why? Because they say the conditions of this world amen. under the season of winter are so terrible that they kill, amen? amen. And surely in nature you can take, look at the trees, amen? amen. The leaves are all falling, amen? amen. Hallelujah. And the leaves are showing forth that there is a death process amen. in nature. Amen. amen. We take over to the season of an element of kill and be careful, especially, or oh, I might as well say this, me, I don't want to hide these things when they come. Amen. amen. Especially some of you that have just recently come into these cold seasons. Amen. amen. You may not, you are not acquainted to the cold weather. Amen. amen. It does not become cold only outside there. Amen. It can also become cold spiritually. Amen. 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 You have to be more careful hallelujah, to review the system that you are in. Hallelujah. Because under this cold weather, hallelujah, you've got to make yourself sure that you are warm. Amen. You put on warm clothing. Why? Because you want the warmth of it. Hallelujah. So is it in the spiritual. Hallelujah. You've got to make sure that you put something about your spiritual life so that you are not going to be cold. And that does not go for only those that have come into this country. Even people that have been in this country too. Amen. Amen. You become new form. Amen. Amen. Slowly, slowly you warm up, you, you, you lose your warmth. Amen. Amen. You become into the condition of Laodicea. Amen. Laodicea yeah. was spilled out of God's mouth. Hallelujah. Why? Because it was lukewarm. Amen. If you ever want to throw up, pour some water and make it warm and try to drink it. Not that tea you make, amen. Some warm water. You drink it like this, and it's not cold, it's not hot. You can't take it and just spill it out. Hallelujah. Amen. Why? That's what God does with somebody. It's not the hotness that He requires. Amen. amen. So, in the review of the season, hallelujah, you have to make sure that you're dressed properly. Hallelujah. And the dressing of the children of God, when it comes to the dressing of the word of, is the word of God. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But praise God, there's a spring. Hallelujah. Glory to Almighty God. Spring is when everything comes back to life. Hallelujah. Spring is when, when it is a, the, the, the flowers start blooming. Amen. When it's showing that there is a resurrection. Amen. There is a time that God will show the fault that there was a death that He took Himself, but He also rose up on the third day. Amen. So in the season of spring, there's also conditions. Amen. Amen. It is very good for you to review the seasons of life. Amen. 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 As an individual, you've got your own seasons. Amen. Amen. There's a season when you're a baby. Amen. Amen. And then there's a season when you become a child. Amen. Amen. Then there's a season when you become a teenager. Amen. 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 Then there's a season when you become a young adult. Amen. Amen. With a young man or a young woman. Amen. Amen. There's a season when you become an adult. Amen. Amen. This is the season when you become of middle age. Amen. 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 And then there's a season when you become an old man. Amen. 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 And in every one of those seasons, there are conditions. Amen. Amen. And God will not give you temptations of an old man when you are to the top. Amen. 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 God will give you the temptation to try your faith according to the season. Amen. According to the condition that you are in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So as you review yourself Amen. in these last days, hallelujah. Amen. Kind 
of think of what is it that God was testing me on? Yeah, yeah. Amen. Maybe I passed the test, maybe I did not pass the test. But it's good to know, hallelujah, what God is testing you on. Amen. Amen. Is he testing you on the face of your health? Is he testing you on the face of your able to achieve? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We have had good testimonies. Hallelujah. Amen. In the past year. Amen. Amen. Because after four seasons, we come to the end of the year. Amen. Amen. We've had two good testimonies here. We've been to Norway. We've seen a church start up. Hallelujah. Amen. With God led us to Amen. Amen. And now they are standing. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. They are putting things in order. Hallelujah. Amen. We are hearing even the testimony of a brother and sister getting engaged today. Hallelujah. Amen. Why? Because of a good testimony. Amen. Amen. A good report. Hallelujah. Amen. People that they off the faith. Hallelujah. That they stood up. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We've got testimonies here. That when we do not think that we are going to be able to make heads to come to this country, yet we are here. Amen. Amen. You had a request to be brought before the Lord. Amen. Amen. There were challenges along the way. Amen. It was not easy. Amen. Amen. But you were hoping for it. Amen. Amen. You wanted to achieve your only goal. Amen. Amen. And when you wanted to achieve that goal, hallelujah, Amen. you set up that before the Lord. Amen. Amen. And you obtained a good report. Hallelujah. Amen. You hold, you are here. Hallelujah. Amen. Why? Amen. Amen. And in the view of your faith, now that you are here, don't become stagnant. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. When the church of God started at Pentecost, Amen. Amen. It was started with the fire of God. Amen. Amen. It was started with the believers on fire for God. Amen. 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 And that is our standard. Amen. Amen. Every one of us as a fellowship, Amen, have got that standard to return back to Pentecost. Amen. Amen. To return back to the faith of our fathers. Amen. Amen. And that is the objection, hallelujah, Amen. which Malachi 4 came for. Amen. Amen. To restore our faith back to the faith of the fathers. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Because that is oh, the, 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 the standard which they were able to set a good ambition. Amen. Amen. Down through the ages, amen, we've lost some of those ambitions, amen. amen. But we praise God and we thank God that God gave us a prophet who went and brought us back those Bible days. Amen. To see and for us to know that we are going to go back to that faith, amen. amen. Don't you ever doubt that we'll never go back, hallelujah. Amen. Actually, we are right there, amen. amen. We are right back to the faith of our fathers, amen. amen. The exact faith that Peter had, we have now, amen. amen. The exact faith that John had, we have now. Amen. 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 Glory to Almighty God. Amen. Amen. So people normally set goals. Hallelujah. After God, sometimes people give themselves goals and say, in six months' time, I want to do this. Amen. Yes. Correct. A good goal for a young man and young woman is in a year or so I want to get married. Amen. Praise God. Yeah, you pray. Amen. Amen. It's a faith operation. Amen. Amen. It's not something that you just keep to yourself and say, oh no, I want to. Uh -uh. You say, God, I want to get married. Yes. I want to marry. Amen. Amen. And you set yourself a goal. Amen. Amen. Why? Because you want to achieve it. Amen. Amen. You have got an ambition for it. Amen. Amen. You know that it's going to make your progress from one stage to the other stage. Amen. Amen. You can just say, I've got an ambition. I'll just keep quiet. I'll not tell the Lord. I'll not even bring it before the Lord. I'll not pray about it. Once in a while, when it comes to me, you remind God of your ambitions. You remind God of your Amen. desires. Amen. Amen. Of your ambitions. Amen. Amen. Those that go to universities, they actually look at the program of the which they are about to take. It's about two years. It's about three years. Amen. Okay. So with this program, in three years' time, it will be um, we're in 2022 now. So I, if I'm starting now, I'll finish in 2025. Amen. So in 2025, uh, after these three years, I'm looking for a job. Amen. Amen. Okay. So you set an ambition, hallelujah, Amen. that after three years of university, you are going to get a job. Amen. Amen. You set an ambition that after six years of secondary education, you want to go to university. Amen. Amen. Because the things that you are able to achieve in secondary, you cannot achieve those things in at university. Amen. Amen. The, other way down. the things that you are able to achieve at university, you cannot achieve those things at secondary. Amen. 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 So you set your ambitions for the things that you want to attain at university. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And those things come to their own conditions. Amen. Amen. They come to their restrictions and their limitations while you are at university. Amen. Amen. They might be more liberal at what the certain things that you are not more liberal now. Amen. Amen. But you are reviewing. Amen. Amen. You are setting up your goals. Amen. 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 I want this to sink. Amen. Amen. I want this to sink. 
Look where we study law. Those ambitions do not start at university. Amen. They start on each day. Amen. Each day before you go to bed. Amen. You are setting your ambition for tomorrow. Amen. Amen. You are looking at what you want to become at university, Amen. but you set those ambitions on a day-to-day -day basis. Week-to-week -week basis, month-to-month -month basis, season-to-season, year-to-year. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And then you get to another ambition. Amen. Just take a little bit of time on this, but I pray, pray God will just let this sink in for a while. Amen. 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 Then you sit in another ambition. Amen. You finish your university, you finish your college. Amen. You want to do your college or your program. Amen. Amen. Whatever profession God has allowed you to do. Amen. Amen. Then you are looking for a job. You get your job. Amen. Amen. Then you are looking to become a specialist in that job. Amen. Amen. And then you want to set a condition. How long is it going to take for me to become a specialist? Amen. Amen. Now, as we go, amen, some people fall by the wayside, amen. 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 You start wondering why is it that some are falling by the wayside? Amen. Why are they not achieving the same achievement that you are able to achieve? Amen. 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 If they set up their goals correctly, amen. amen. Did they have the right attitude and the right motive for setting amen. up their goals? Yes. Amen. Did they bring their goals before the Lord? Amen. amen. Did they use their aims and their ambitions and their desires and their hope? Hallelujah. Amen. And took it before the substance of Amen. God's weight. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Were they motivated enough and they have a deep passion? Hallelujah. Amen. To achieve those goals. Amen. Amen. There's one thing that is called um, aspirations. Amen. Yes. And aspiration is something that you 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 do and you are desiring for and you want. But you don't have any motive to do it, amen. amen. You don't take action about it, amen. Ah. You are just wishing, oh, I wish I could be a, a flight lieutenant, I wish I could be this. You aspire, amen. amen. You just wish it, amen. amen. If you want to be a flight lieutenant, you'll be looking up, you'll be looking up planes. How is this design? Oh, amen. one day, you'll be going to the airport and say, let me just walk to the airport. Amen. Let me just see what the airport is, amen. amen. You'll be, you take a small flight and just look at the flight attendant and walk behind them and see if you are going to be one of them, amen. amen. You are taking up an action because you want to achieve that, amen. amen. That's when ambitions now are in the works of God, amen. amen. Our full father, the father of faith, amen. amen. Abraham, amen. We are told that when God came to him, hallelujah, and told him that he was going to have a son, he's not just let it be an aspiration, amen, amen. or a wish, amen. amen. He took action about it, amen. amen. He's not telling Sarah, let us go to the doctor, amen. amen. Let us go check to see whether the baby is coming, amen. amen. He says, no, but I don't feel anything, I'm still let go, amen. amen. They wanted to find out, hallelujah, amen. whether their desire and their ambition is still going. When they come from the doctor, they would give a report, no, there's nothing. Amen. Then they say, okay, let's just pass by the shop, amen. amen. You know, this little dress is very good for, 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 for a girl. No, no, it's not going to be a girl, it's going to be a boy. And then they, they, they look amen. for the one, for, 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 for the testing of the boy, amen. amen. When there's no sign, amen. Yes, sir. Amen. amen. It's an evidence, hallelujah, amen. that they are holding on to the promises of God, amen. 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 And God, when He gives a promise, His promise will always not fail, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Anybody else can give a promise and it can fail. Amen. But what God promised, he is able to achieve. Amen. God cannot lie. Amen. His way do not return back for it. Amen. You will use every promise of God to achieve. Hallelujah. What is been sent for. Amen. And if you know the temple of the right, God can do that promise. Amen. And you are able to absorb it into your heart. Amen. amen. You can achieve the good amen. report. Amen. amen. God looked upon the ages and said, no. I'm going to have a church, amen. amen. Without spot, without wrinkle, amen. amen. And that church is going to start on the day of Pentecost, amen. amen. But in stages of it, there are going to be seven church ages, amen. amen. There will be the first three church ages, amen. amen. And under these first three church ages, I'll give them some great power, amen. amen. Hallelujah. As if of a lion, amen. amen. Why? Because he knows that to carry the burden that comes with these first three churches. They need to get power. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And the churches were so. Amen. Every time after they send an H, hallelujah, Amen. you will send a particular message. Amen. Amen. And you will anoint that message of the great power to demonstrate the power of God Amen. of the season of that age. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Then when people are now relaxed, Amen. Like what happened in Ephesus. They had a high ambition. Amen. Amen. But in their high ambition, they begin to relax. Amen. Amen. They lost their first love, amen. And in losing that first love, amen, God gave them another, amen. amen. 
messenger that came with that age. Amen. Amen. And then after another, they came another. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Then they said, okay, this period is going to be a period where things are going to be so difficult. Amen. Amen. To show forth that I am the, I'm the one that can bring people from the Israelite, the church has also got to go through a death process. Amen. Amen. And it doesn't belong. Amen. Amen. And he gave them another power. Amen. Amen. Of an ox. Amen. Amen. And he gave them a messenger for that power. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So that the ox nature would Amen. be in the believers. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And when the messenger came for that age, he had this particular ox and his message was to them was of coming to Christ, but also for pain. Amen. Amen. The pain that comes along with being in Christ. Amen. Amen. In Christianity, it's not always that you are not going to be a pain. Amen. Amen. There's a pain when you have to tie it yourself. Amen. Amen. The things that of this world have got to die out of you. Amen. Amen. The things that you personally desire Amen. are contrary to the word of God. Amen. Those have got to die. Amen. 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 And those can only die by a particular pain. Amen. Death is painful. Amen. 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 Uh, even there happens a good chap pain. Amen. Amen. In the event of it. Amen. Yes. It's not that it's, 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 the pain is going to be is going to be like felt. Hallelujah. Amen. But it will be so big within the twinkle of an eye. Amen. So you won't even feel that kind of pain. Amen. Hallelujah. But the process of the rapture itself right now is a dying out process. Hallelujah. Amen. Of your things that you now to do that are contrary to the word of God. Amen. Regardless of what it is. Amen. Amen. It could be your time you spend on your computer games. Hallelujah. Amen. If God wants to take that out of you, Amen. it will be painful. Amen. If God will want you to, to be saying, okay, I want to go to these parties where they are just smaller and everything, and you say, ah, I wish I want to go, my friends are going, and you say, I feel left out and you don't go. Amen. But all your investing friends have gone. It will be painful. Amen. It needs to be painful. Amen. Amen. But it will be God taking it out of you. Amen. Amen. Oops. Hallelujah. Amen. Samaria. Amen. Amen. Then we have this age of men. Amen. Amen. When God gave an anointing of men to two ages. Amen. Amen. Which was the age of Luther and Wesley. Amen. Amen. People came anointed, being very intellectual. Amen. Amen. Being able to figure out things and calculate things and do things. Amen. Amen. And God was giving him that same anointing to the church. Amen. Amen. Then he gave another anointing. After that church age, why? Because it last. Amen. 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 Now on this last one, said, mm. these people, I need to take them back. Amen. I'll give them an anointing of an eagle. Yes. So that they'll be able to see far and wide. Amen. Amen. What things have been happening. Amen. Amen. So he gave the anointing of the eagle to the last church age. Praise which we currently are in. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So we've gone through those seven anointings, those four anointings, amen? Hallelujah. Yes. For God to take us out from certain challenges, amen? amen. So in every season, God sends us a particular anointing to take us out, amen? amen? I wonder myself, hallelujah, when I look at the times, that when this church age of Laodicea comes to an end, do you have anything else to go to? Amen. Is there any other anointing that we have to go to? There's no any other anointing to go to. Amen. Amen. There's only one place, hallelujah, that God has reserved for them that are going to come out of the church ages. Amen. Amen. And God is going to put them, hallelujah, under the banner of his own love. Amen. Amen. He's going to give them such a tremendous love divine. Amen. Amen. Like his own love, hallelujah. So that these people who have the same nature as himself, hallelujah, the same love as himself, hallelujah, and will be taken out of this world, hallelujah. When God looked upon man with such kind of love, he said, mm, this person is not going to be on earth. Amen. I want to take him out of this earth. Amen. When God looked at Enoch, hallelujah, Enoch was full of grace of God. Why? Because he had such tremendous love within himself, hallelujah, that God said, this is none other than myself. Amen. Whatever my ambition was before the foundation of the world to see a son or a daughter of God Amen. with such God's love in them. Amen. Amen. I will take them. Amen. Amen. That's what God is going to take in Amen. the last day of the rapture. Amen. Amen. He's building us up to that level Amen. of God's own love. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us go into our, to our quotations. Amen. Amen. Well, the Bible says, Amen. What it takes to overcome our unbelief. Amen. 
When God speaks to a man, he has faith. Amen. He has an ambition. He has a purpose. Amen. When God speaks to a man, he gives him a purpose. When God speaks to a man, now listen, he's talking about ambition and he has a purpose. Amen. Amen. Because the ambition, hallelujah, there's going to be sex at some point. Amen. Amen. In what you are trying to achieve. And in, in what you are trying to achieve, it has got to come with the right motive, the right objective. Amen. Amen. Your achievement, the purpose should be set with the right motive and the right objective. Objective. Amen. Amen. If your purpose is going to be on the wrong setting, amen. Despite your ambition being God, amen, it may not be fully in line with God's will. Amen. Amen. So if you as you review yourself in the ambitions of our faith, hallelujah, amen. coming towards this tireless days of this year, set yourself with the ambitions that have got a good purpose of life. Amen. amen. Even if it is just a natural thing of wanting to achieve war at university or wanting to achieve war in your in your job to rise from a certain level to another level, amen. Let it be that it will bring honor and glory to God. Amen. amen. Let it be that it is not setting yourself to fail by putting yourself with the right ambition. You'll see me then how when I become the chief executive of the NHS, I'll be driving them to the latest it's the paper, whatever it is, amen. amen. As good as that may come, if God wishes to, but that should not be your purpose in it, amen. amen. That should not be your motive in it, amen. amen. Say it yourself with good purpose of what you want to achieve, amen. 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 That's where people fall by the wayside, amen. amen. Because they've got no purpose in what they're achieving, they've got no motive to drive them to that objection, amen. 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 When God speaks to a man, he gives him a purpose. When God speaks to a man, he gives him ambition. When God speaks to a man, he gives him faith to do it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Why? Because your ambition is right. Your purpose is right. Your objection is right. Your motives are right. Then God comes and picks you up, hallelujah, by giving you a substance. Amen. Faith is a substance. Amen. A substance is the word of God. Hallelujah. God will give you a particular word of God to accomplish. Hallelujah. Your purpose and your ambition. Hallelujah. Oh man. If God says it is not good for a man to be alone. Amen. amen. It is God's purpose. Amen. It is God's ambition. Amen. amen. That a man and a woman made. Amen. amen. When you yourself are saying, okay, I'm setting myself with that aim, with that ambition, with that purpose. Amen. What are you going to do? Amen. You are putting yourself to take God's work. Hallelujah. Amen. So when you come before the Lord, you say, ah. Dear Lord, let us have a conference today. Amen. Amen. In today's conference, on the agenda, can you put in this subject? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You said it is not good for a man to be alone. Amen. Amen. What about me? Amen. Amen. Why? Because you are setting yourself an ambition. Amen. Amen. You said, okay, whatever you desire, hallelujah, Amen. you shall have it. Amen. What about me? Amen. Amen. You are putting yours in your condition. You said, by his self, we are healed. Amen. Amen. I am in this condition. Amen. What about me? Amen. Amen. Why? You are putting on the agenda in your conference with God. Amen. Well, God is able to give you the faith Amen. to accomplish it. Amen. Amen. To achieve Amen. what his purpose in life. Amen. What God called him to do. God called us to be a church Amen. of God. Amen. Amen. Let's tell it to him a little bit. Amen. Amen. Tell it to what for. Amen. Amen. When God called us to be here in what for, there was a certain ambition. Amen. There was a certain purpose. Amen. Amen. It was not to become popular. It was not to throw ourselves on YouTube and to Facebook and to know all over the world. Amen. amen. No, 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 no. That just comes along with it. Amen. amen. We had a certain ambition, amen, amen, to see ourselves become the bride of the Lord Jesus Christ without his God or him. Amen. amen. We had a certain purpose, hallelujah, to win souls to the kingdom of God. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. You don't just go and become a farmer and plant your seed somewhere and don't, you don't expect to reap from your crop. Amen. amen. We don't just say, okay, God called me and I want to start this way, but you then you have no ambition to get souls into the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. There's going to have an ambition of, of what God has. There's going to have a purpose. Amen. Amen. Your Bible says, your bride has made yourself ready. What about speck of bed? Amen. Yes, Amen. 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 You good to have something. Hallelujah. Amen. That God gives us a faith to drive us Amen. into an action. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Almighty God. Yes, sir. The prophet says in the next slide, Amen. Okay, let me just take you this. Amen. Amen. In the next slide says, I haven't got much hopes 
for a pastor's church that hasn't got ambitions to better themselves day by day. Amen. Amen. We're talking about if you want to achieve the high things of life, end up at university with high jobs and CEO of the you start with the day to, your daily reviews. Amen. Amen. When you're able to set your task for tomorrow. Amen. Amen. So if you want if you have ambition to better the fellowship of football day, day by day. Amen. Week by week, month by month. Amen. Year by year. Amen. A church that's really a church of the living God will never stop. Amen. Amen. It will never stop within the ambitions of God. Amen. Amen. We say, well, we just come in. I guess it's all right now. We now put a few people that are sitting around us here. One or two people. Hey, is it, ah, that's enough. God forbid. Amen. Amen. We want to win as many souls and God will allow us to win. Amen. Amen. Why? Because that was our ambition. Amen. Amen. That is our purpose. Amen. Amen. We, we are here to win souls for the kingdom of God. Amen. And to build up individuals into a structure when they become a powerhouse of God. Amen. Amen. Not just a fellowship. Amen. This is just an atmosphere for us to get to. Amen. But out of this atmosphere, we've got an ambition when sons and daughters of God will be standing in the image of God. Amen. Amen. Build it up like that. Amen. Amen. Not to the glory of an individual. Amen. 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 So the motive has got to be right. Amen. The objective has got to be right. Amen. Amen. Oh, I guess it's all right now. That ends the church of God. That's what the brother is speaking. Amen. Amen. When you say, ah, it's okay now. We are just okay now. We have, we've got a good musician. We've got good things. Amen. Amen. In natural faith, we are still starting. We haven't even dished anything. Amen. Amen. Yet. We still need to pay ourselves. Amen. Amen. Day in, day out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We still need to be. We can never even attain to what it is. Amen. Amen. Until God looks upon us and says, mm, This is perfect. And then he takes us to the after. Amen. Amen. Because along the way, we are always going to be learning. We are always going to be trying to achieve. To be better than we were yesterday. Amen. 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 And that's the head attitude that we should have. Amen. Amen. Each one of us should attain that they come out of this fellowship today better than they were yesterday. Amen. 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 Why? Because you are trying to better yourself. Amen. Amen. For the day in, day in. This is Amen. Hallelujah. This got an ambition to press on. Amen. I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining. Amen. Man. Hallelujah. Oh, don't lift me up to higher ground. Amen. Amen. Man. By faith, you want to get to be a better person. Amen. A better husband, a better wife. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, brother, that's not the ambition of the church. You see, eh? Well, is that I've done my part? No. No, this is a brother or a sister. Says, ah, me, I've testified. One person has come in. I've done my part. And you think you've done it. Amen. Brother Brennan says, that's not the ambition of the church of God. If he brings one, he wants to bring another. Amen. Amen. Another. Amen. Another. Amen. another. Another, Amen. another. Amen. It goes on and on. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Almighty God. Amen. There's something about fishing men. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why fishing has been attributed to what it is that when you're testifying and win souls. Amen. Amen. I remember when I was a young man. Amen. I went to a particular lake in Masungo where we used to have a particular lake. Amen. I've never fished before. Amen. I was with my brothers. Amen. And while we were fishing, I put in my book in there. Hallelujah. And then within no time, I found the tank, amen. And I pulled, and I pulled out this fish. Immediately, as that fish came out, there was a sweet joy oh, yeah. amen. of amen. having caught a fish. Amen. 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 And Brother Branham says, when you are fishing, that joy of having caught a fish is just like the joy you have when you've testified with one and soul. Amen. 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 There's something about winning a soul, amen. amen. For the kingdom of God. Amen. You are not just benefiting because that soul is coming to the kingdom of God. You yourself receive a particular tremendous joy. Amen. 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 And once you feel that the joy of bringing one soul to the kingdom of God, Amen. you want to bring another. Amen. 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 You, you, you do anything, you go into the highways and the streets into, into putting up with speakers in the wherever, at, you, at work, at college, anything, you don't care what anybody says. Why? Because you want that particular joy. Hallelujah. Of bringing a soul into the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. There's something about it, hallelujah, that it goes beyond an explanation. Amen. Amen. Because we are doing it for the love of God. Amen. 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 God's love who draw it into that. Amen. There's no end to it. It keeps on climbing up seed 
We want to have an ambition, expectation. God wants us to, to be that way. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. This last stage, hallelujah, of this year. Amen. We have to seek ourselves with God's ambition for our faith. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Why? Because you are setting yourself on a reason. That's the reason God elected him. He's talking now about Man. eagles. Amen? Amen. Eagles have got great ambitions. Amen? There's no bed like an eagle. Amen? We're talking about in this church age of Laodicea, God has given us an eagle anointing. Amen? Amen? So that we can have the power and the attribute of an eagle. Amen? Amen. Because with that attribute of an eagle, eagles have got high ambitions. Amen. amen. They don't fly here or keep themselves here on the low altitude. They fly way up high. Amen. Hallelujah. Right to the tops amen. of the mountains. Amen. amen. Why? Because they've got this high ambition. Amen. amen. Then he says, Brother Brown says, that's the reason God elected him, being an ego, to his church. Amen. 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 You are a king that sits on a hill. That's amen. right. Amen. High ambitions, amen. high expectations. Amen. amen. I remember when you were just me and my wife, amen, and the family, amen, when you first set up the church up there at Watford Stadium, amen, amen. and we were calling people and we were putting the banners up far and wide, amen, amen. and we preached the message, we will not be a king, that will be hidden under the bush, amen. amen. We are going to make sure that we put ourselves high up, hallelujah, regardless of what we are, hallelujah, regardless of what we have, the full being or anything like this, or the technology, but we've got one thing in our hearts, we've got faith. So many people, I get shocked. Hallelujah. Amen. When people call me, said, "I know you." I said, "Who? Where do you know me from?" Nowadays, I don't even say, "Where do you know me from?" I just say, "I'm known," because I, I, I'm, I'm, on the, I'm, on, I'm in the public profile. Amen. So, you tell me that you know me, and you take you think that it makes me scared that you know me. It doesn't make me scared. Amen. I know. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, who, who, who I am. Amen. Amen. I came out of my bushel. I came out and I put myself on the public profile. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'm here to represent the community and the public of who I am. Amen. 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 When you set up yourself in this manner, you are no longer a private individual. Amen. Amen. You are now a public. Amen. Amen. And the office you hold is the public office. Amen. Amen. So being a public, you should know how you are going to be looked upon by the Amen. people. Amen. There's a great responsibility that comes along with it as well. Amen. People say, are you scared that we will fall? Yes, maybe God may do that, but God forbid. Amen. 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 My faith is not looking at the fall. Amen. My faith is looking up high and in you. Hallelujah. And I'm praying that God will keep you hold of me. Hallelujah. And even if I was to fall tomorrow, I will still be here Amen. today. Amen. Amen. I will still sit on that hallelujah, glory of and then praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. The God, yes. Amen. Amen. Of what happens next yeah. tomorrow, amen. amen. I know God will pull me through, amen. amen. God forbid, God. Amen. amen. I'm not trusting upon my own ambitions, amen. my own self. I'm trusting on Him amen. to hold, to take a hold of me, amen. amen. We, we are expecting great things. Amen. The church should always be expecting great things, amen. 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 There should never be a time when it's so relaxed, amen. As we are going through the church edges, amen? amen. The prophet taught us that some of the things that they made errors in amen. for us to learn. Amen. amen. When the Ephesian church made an error of making themselves relaxed, amen. we learned then. Amen. amen. That you should know, you should go back to your first love. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And that first love is to go back to what God wants you to be for. Up and are running with ambitions for God. Amen. 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 And God will take care of the rest. Amen. Amen. God can only take care of what you give you. Amen. Amen. So I'm Pentecost. That says or that don't for me. Amen. I'm expecting greater things. Amen. Amen. So am I. I've got ambitions to move on. Amen. 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 Till I meet him up, up, up. Amen. Amen. 
Hallelujah. And we set our ambitions. Our ambitions are not to be here, Lord. Amen. Our ambition is to go up higher. Amen. Till we meet him up, up, up. Amen. Friends, there's a heaven to go to. And it exists. Amen. 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 We want to be there. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to set our ambition to that objective. Amen. To that purpose. Amen. Where we are going to be embraced. Hallelujah. Amen. With God's own love. Amen. Hallelujah. Where time will mean, will mean nothing anymore. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Where the, our forefathers that have stood in the tent and they have got good reports are awaiting for us up there. Amen. So we cannot set our purpose and our ambitions on the vanity things of what is happening here. Amen. I'll say it anyway, just come into my mind. We cannot set our ambitions on the little ball of air that is going up and down, kicked by any else. Uh, Amen. Yeah. And after all, after the week, the world can be finished. Amen. Amen. It's got no continuity at all. Hallelujah. Yeah. But I'll set my ambitions on things that are going to take me uh, up to heaven. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I'll set my ambitions yeah. on going up, up, up. Amen. Yes, correct. Hallelujah. As we see the Holy Ghost that settles this norm. Amen. Man. Who says you see me the Holy Ghost settles this in the name of God? Amen. Amen. When you receive the Holy Ghost, that's when, it's when we are starting now. Amen. Amen. When you receive the Holy Ghost, you are now starting to stand up for God. Amen. Amen. You are now starting to be in action. You let the Holy Ghost work through you. Amen. 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 Yes, you are trained to it. You are praying for it. You wish for it. You desire it. Amen. You pray for it. Hallelujah. Amen. You go through the grace period. Hallelujah. Amen. To achieve it. Amen. And then you achieve it. Amen. Amen. But after you achieve it, that's not it. Amen. That's not the way it ends. Hallelujah. There's another stage now. Amen. And God wants to test you by the weight. Amen. Where the weight of his weight is going to be. Amen. Amen. And then God will bring you to an adoption. Amen. 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 Even after the adoption, that's not it. Hallelujah. If you have not finished, amen. amen. You just know where you are. Hallelujah. Amen. What you're supposed to do. What your purpose in life is. Amen. amen. And you are now doing your purpose in life. Hallelujah. But you've got another. Hallelujah. Amen. Set to bring others as well to your spot. Amen. amen. So you are always continuously set with an ambition. Praise God. Until God takes you away. Amen. Amen. And it didn't mean and still just taking and moving higher and higher, just moving all the way up higher. Amen. Higher ambitions. Amen. Amen. High expectations. Amen. 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 You are a city that sits on a hill. Amen. That gives life to everyone. Amen. And the real church of God is built with ambition. Amen. That won't stop on these certain organizations. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because you know what the mistakes of the denominations is. Amen. They never they set themselves on the right ambitions. Amen. They never set themselves to review where they are and where they are going. Amen. Hallelujah. They got settled when they justified. Amen. And they said, ah, okay, we are okay now. We don't need any more of what the blood. Amen. Amen. Our sins are atoned. Amen. Again, Amen. We can smoke, drink, and do whatever we want. Amen. Amen. And they were settling there without an ambition to better themselves Amen. as a fellowship, as a church. Amen. Amen. And that's when they died. Hallelujah. Because they did not review their ambitions. Amen. The moment one or two said the same, but there's something wrong about this. Amen. I, I received the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, but I always want to be holy. I always want to be righteous. I always want to stop lying. I always want to stop these desires. Amen. God help me. Amen. The stage, next stage came in of sanctification. Amen. And the moment they said, ah, we are satisfied by the holiness people, we are okay now. There's none holier than I. Oh. That's when God says, yeah. Amen. Why? Right? Because you are putting yourself into a condition of thinking that you have attained. Man. When you have not attained. Amen. A church of God always has got an ambition. And a church is made up of individuals. Amen. That are free in the body of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah. And these individuals should have an ambition to become better. Praise God. Amen. Amen. It believes in the power and the resurrection of Christ who soars beyond this old chickenness that are around us. Amen. Amen. Not just be caught up in these ambitions. Amen. Amen. Of being, saying, I'm a chief. Amen. Amen. It is the nature of any individual. Amen. Amen. By default. Amen. The way we came in. Hallelujah. Our natural birth. Hallelujah. Amen. Sets us into a position whereby we want to be contained and relaxed in where we are. Amen. We do not put ourselves of any challenge to ourselves because it is our natural birth. Amen. But that's why we need to be born again. Amen. Amen. Because when you are born again, you are born of the Spirit of God. Amen. Amen. And the Spirit of God contains the flesh against like the Spirit of the flesh. Amen. Amen. And the Spirit of God always is not settled with the things of this earth. Amen. As long as you are in this best house, 
Hallelujah. The Amen. Spirit of God is want to make itself better. Amen. Amen. So with the proof that it brings along itself an ambition to become a better person. Amen. Hallelujah. An ambition to get back to where you come from. Amen. Amen. An ambition to go back to heaven. Amen. So the natural thing will never satisfy hallelujah, the spiritual. Amen. Hallelujah. So each time when you're a Christian, hallelujah, these are the tips of how to overcome. Amen. Amen. You should know that that unbelief of the nature that by default you are born under, you've got another ambition. Amen. Amen. So that God can pull you through. Amen. Amen. Okay? It says here, we sit down, me and this little crowd, we don't want none of the rest of you in our group. Amen. That's if a little fellowship. He said, not me, I want to reach out. The brother says, not me. Amen. I want to take the brother Brennan's words and make it mine. Not me. Amen. 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 It's no longer brother Brennan, it's brother Luke now. Amen. Not me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to reach Amen. out against Amen. every fallen creed. Amen. Amen. Or rather, a clear way to say, I thought it, this is me now. I thought it would mean any person. Amen. Amen. And bring him in. Amen. Ambitions. Amen. Do something. Amen. All about it. Amen. Amen. Let's, let's just make it our purpose in life. Amen. Amen. Draw it out of the pages of the spoken word of Branham and personalize it to yourself. Amen. Amen. Let's just make it our purpose in life to see that we are the church of God. Amen. Amen. Let's have an ambition. Amen. Amen. Not sit around because don't, the Jones want it or the free takers want it. Amen. Amen. You know, when you come in just because you're just doing it because your mother wants you to come. Amen. Or you'll be called. But I will look at you and look at the church you did and you do not want to come. Amen. Amen. It's not tax. Amen. Amen. Yeah, because they are being like he pushed feet to it. Amen. Amen. It's not that. Amen. Amen. You yourself should have a purpose. Amen. Hallelujah. That you want to have that ambition. Amen. Amen. You want to make it on the other day. Amen. Like the morning. Amen. Amen. What do we care about the free takers? Amen. Amen. If they don't do it, let's just do it now. Amen. 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 What do you care about this brother if he doesn't want to come? Or this brother if they don't want to take it? Amen. Or this brother that doesn't want to come? Hallelujah. Amen. If you want to have the salvation of God, hallelujah, Amen. you just take it upon yourself as your own ambition. Amen. 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 In what world we stand for God? Amen. Yes, Amen. We want God. Amen. We want to achieve. We want to have faith. Amen. We want to have an ambition Amen. here. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. With the right motive, with the right objective. Amen. Amen. That's what we are preaching about it. Amen. Amen. It's to lay in the seed. Hallelujah. Now and forevermore. Hallelujah. That we have got an ambition. Amen. Set right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Almighty God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You remember the, the queen of Sheba. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. She drove all the way. Hallelujah. Up from Ethiopia. Yes. Which is over there. Amen. Amen. Because she hates of a man. Amen. King Solomon. Amen. That is a particular gift. Amen. Amen. And the gift of King Solomon. Hallelujah. But he was able to discern and do good and give him wisdom. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And he was flourishing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Behold, a greater than Solomon is here. Oh, Amen. Amen. So, what more should we have people Amen. coming out from London, coming out from Buckinghamshire, coming out from Hertfordshire? Hallelujah. Amen. Because the year of the greatness Amen. of whom is here, who is greater than Solomon. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. And what did he do? She is one alternative. Hallelujah. She left. Hallelujah. Lived in the camel with gold and coats and things. She got up a camel. Hallelujah. Perhaps traveling by night. Amen. Feeling cool across the great Sahara Desert. Amen. Amen. She went to the desert. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. She didn't care how long it took. Amen. Amen. She didn't care whether it was two miles, two hours, three hours, wherever it is. Amen. That's why we're here we say we don't care whether they are coming from the four corners of England. Amen. Amen. If God wants to bring you, just come. Amen. Amen. Why? Because we know, hallelujah, that you are coming here to see someone greater than Solomon. Amen. Amen. Not myself, but he himself. Hallelujah. Yes, that is here in our midst. Amen. Amen. Who promised that by this you shall know that all Amen. men will come after me. And that is our Lord and Savior Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Amen. What a price. What a journey. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Who do anything to sacrifice for someone to come to fellowship? Amen. Amen. What an ambition. Amen. Amen. This brother says, toops it all. Amen. Amen. That ambition says, toops it all. Amen. Amen. To come to see the greatness Amen. of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because of her heart, 
there was something hungering and thirsting to find if he really was a God that could answer. Amen. Amen. She wanted answers. She wanted the ambitions to be achieved. Amen. Amen. She wanted a good report. Amen. Amen. She was set on a journey. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Almighty God. Amen. Amen. Let's see this here. In the context we hear of a, of a rich young man, hallelujah, this young man had been taught well, hallelujah, by his parents, amen, amen. which brings us to a review, amen. amen, as parents, are we teaching our children well, amen. amen. He had been taught well so much that he knew the commandments of God, amen, amen. and he was not only knew them, he was doing them, amen, and not only that, Jesus Christ himself acknowledged it. Amen. That his parents had taught him well. That he himself was doing the good thing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And he had also a good ambition. Amen. He said, good master, what can I do to inherit eternal life? Amen. So his ambitions were right. Amen. Amen. Everything that he had before him was right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But when he was given the answer, that is when he failed. Amen. Because he loved his money. Man. Hallelujah. More than he loved God. Amen. Man. So God will bring you to a spot. Amen. When he is going to challenge you according to your faith of the things that you love most. Amen. 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 You're not going to be tested when you don't love it. Amen. Amen. Me, I've never, I've never really enjoyed what the world is doing. Kick it. Amen. Amen. Maybe I enjoyed the, the football here and there. Amen. Amen. But I enjoyed basketball so much. Amen. Amen. And I was a basketball fan, I was playing basketball. Amen. So even when I became a Christian to take basketball out of him was a challenge. Amen. 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 And God was testing me Amen. whether I loved the most or not on basketball. Amen. 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 So each time when I'll be sitting down to read my spoken word or my my or my, or my Bible, Amen. Then I'll see the voice go. Amen. Boom. Boom. Amen. The next thing I'm on the field. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. <laughs> Why? Because I'm being tested. Hallelujah. On what I love most, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But it came to a time, hallelujah, when even when I was playing, I was not even as good as before. Amen. I would throw the ball, miss, throw the ball, miss, try to triple, do my mistake until I was in the first team and I was dropped down on the same thing. Amen. I said, what am I doing here? Amen. I believe I'm playing this ball. It's not even helping me. I'm being loved. It is that. Hallelujah. Amen. They call me that I'm a believer. I don't love the things of the world. But yet, yeah, I am mean, I'm loving the things of the world. Amen. The Bible says if you love the things of the world, amen, you've got no love of God. Amen. amen. I said, God, have mercy on me. Hallelujah. hallelujah. The thing that I've been tested on, hallelujah. hallelujah. The thing that I love, amen. amen. God, take it out of me. Amen. Yeah. And within all so time, hallelujah, the desire for basketball was drawn out of me. Amen. amen. I don't even know who the stars are anymore. Amen. amen. Because I've got no passionate desire for it. Hallelujah. Yeah. Why? God tests you. Amen. On what you love. Amen. He wants you to give you. In the year 2022, he is testing you on what you love. Amen. If you're able to overcome that, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. If not yet, 2023 is coming. Amen. The test of God, until you pass that, he will not let you go. Amen. He wants a spotless church. Amen. Without spot or wrinkle. Amen. amen. So he is going to show you all the things. That you love, amen. amen. This is a this is a review, amen. amen. Of what we are, hallelujah. Praise so we are looking upon the things that we have been and we are reviewing how best we can overcome these things, amen. amen. So you know the things that you love that are contrary to the word of God, amen. amen. We are going to have a test on those amen. every now and then, Alleluia. amen. Because God wants you to bring you to a spotless position, amen. amen. Paul was a man of great ambition, amen. He was a scholar, amen. amen. He knew the Bible in and out, amen. He wanted to become a high priest, amen. He wanted to become a lawyer, amen. But when he met God, hallelujah, all his ambitions that he ate in life vanished, amen. Ever. Hallelujah. Just as my ambitions amen. that I had in basketball all vanished, amen. amen. God wants those people that are ambitious, yes. amen. amen. Even in your natural life, amen. amen. He wants you to have those ambitions, amen. amen. So that he can give you a great ambition, amen. amen. Moses had great ambitions, amen. amen. When he was sitting in the palace, amen, amen. a step away from being the pharaoh, amen. amen. He wanted to rule Egypt, amen. amen. He wanted to have control of Egypt, amen. amen. Hallelujah. 
But then when he was told, you, Moses, you are not, you are not really the son of Pharaoh. Amen. Your people are there, those mad doppers. Amen. Amen. And the mother was telling him, oh, is this so? Amen. Amen. So how come I put this ambition of being one person that will rule Egypt? And yet my people are out there. Amen. Let me go and join them. Amen. Amen. One day I'll come out with my doppers. Amen. And I'll still come back and rule Egypt. Amen. And he did. Amen. It took him some time. He had to go through the wilderness. Amen. He had to get to a stage when he meets the pillar of fire. Amen. He had to come back to Egypt as one man. Hallelujah. Amen. Going to conquer the whole of Egypt. Amen. Amen. How come now that he was now going to back to Egypt as a one man in faith? Amen. Amen. God gave him another ambition. Amen. Amen. To align to his ambition to conquer Egypt. Amen. And then with God's ambition, he managed to do it. Amen. Amen. And then God reports. Amen. God said so. Amen. So what God says, God is able to do it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm noticing our time, but we are almost there. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Almighty God. Amen. Amen. We notice of Abraham. Amen. He had that ambition. Amen. He wanted to see a city which built and maker of it is God. Amen. 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 He wanted to be in a place where he can actually know that. God who showed me that there's going to be a city yeah, in New Jerusalem. Amen. Amen. And the builder and the maker is not of men. Yeah, man. Amen. It's going to come down from heaven and it will come uh, from this particular place. Yeah. In that place, there will be peace forevermore. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And he set himself on a journey yes. looking for that city. Yeah, looking for where it is. Amen. Amen. Trying to figure out how best he can get there. Amen. Amen. And then one day he separated himself from his from his Lord, Amen. And God came down and looked at the east, look to the north, look to the west, hallelujah. Look everywhere, amen. amen. Go by hallelujah. This all oh, this have I given to you, amen. Hallelujah. But he still wanted to have a place amen. Amen. where he can meet this king of the city, amen. amen. It had to take Lot, amen. Lot had to be captured by the five kings, amen. amen. And he had to go and have and and stay and, and Bring God back. Amen. Amen. It was an act of love. Amen. Amen. Act of redemption. Act of setting up how to bring back his fallen brother. Hallelujah. That moved God so much that it, God says, no, 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 this is too much. Amen. Amen. When a brother goes for another brother to bring them back to the kingdom of God. Uh, when people beg God for other Lord's souls to bring them back to the kingdom of God. When you set the right objection, God says, no, we need to have a communion. Amen. Amen. Now this is too great. Hallelujah. He's just like what I did when I came on God. Amen. Amen. He's going after his lost brother. He's going after his lost sister. Amen. Amen. He's testifying of my glory. He's got his ambition set up right. Good, good, great, and wine. Amen. Amen. And the man stepped out without father, without mother. Amen. Amen. King Salem. Amen. 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 Sat down with Abraham. With Abraham. Amen. Amen. And they started to have it. Amen. God Himself, hallelujah, came down to drink. Amen. And eat. Hallelujah. Amen. At the very spot Hallelujah. where the city is going to be built. Amen. Amen. Where he knew, hallelujah, Amen. he had made the king. Hallelujah. Amen. Because of the man, the built and the maker of us of God, the king would only be in that place. Amen. Salem. Amen. Amen. And in the future home, the prophet identified that place to be in Israel. Amen. Amen. The title of that will rise up. Hallelujah. Amen. The, 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 hallelujah. And the new Jerusalem is going to come. Hallelujah. Amen. And be over there. Amen. And there are people. Hallelujah. You and I. Hallelujah. Amen. Who got an ambition to be there. Hallelujah. Amen. But our being there is not in the physical. Hallelujah. Is that the bride has made herself ready. Amen. Amen. Why? Because that is an ambition. Amen. To be in the bride. Hallelujah. To be the wife of God. Amen. Amen. You will be the one that is coming down. Amen. Amen. Sitting on that city with Peter and maker of it is God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory to Almighty God. Amen. In choosing a bride, I was saying this earlier, I might as well say it now. Amen. Amen. From the prophet's most mouth again. Again, the kind of woman that a man would choose will reflect his ambition. Amen. Amen. When a man is about to choose a wife, amen, the wife that he chooses, amen, is an ambition of what he wants, amen. amen. Now, a true wife as well, hallelujah, who knows that they've been chosen by a man because he this kind of ambition would want to fulfill that ambition. Amen. Amen. The tip will have to go to the tip, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And his character, amen. amen. 
So a man has got even an ambition of the kind of woman that he wants, amen, to be a mother, to be the these virtues, amen. And then the woman has got to also play a part to be in those positions and so, amen. amen. Because if a husband, amen, you've got a vision. Amen. Amen. You can't just lead a family and children and a wife without knowing where you are going to take them. Amen. Man. When I left Zimbabwe in 2003, amen, I said to my wife, I'm going. Amen. Man. And when, when I go back, I'll see what it is like. If I get a job, you come follow me. Amen. amen. A few months later, I happened, events happened and I checked up and then I couldn't go back to Zimbabwe. And I was telling you, look, I've got a vision. Amen. amen. I'm not coming back to you. Zimbabwe. Amen. amen. I will stay here. Amen. amen. Oh, what about the children? How are they going to be? You're going to come. Amen. amen. Oh, it's so difficult. You're going to come. Amen. amen. You're going to be in my vision. Amen. Yes. You're going to be in my ambition. Hallelujah. You're going to be in the set mode of what I want. Amen. 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 Because I'm the one that is going to be driving. Amen. amen. The forefront. Amen. 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 So as a as young man growing up, amen, who, who want to be married, amen, you must know that even when you take a wife, amen, you cannot just take it so that you can be in your home and sit and not do anything, amen. There should be an ambition amen. of what you want to do, amen. amen. Hallelujah. In your question, what do you talk about? How many children are you going to have, amen? amen. You have to talk about the ambitions, amen. amen. The things that you are going to do, amen. Why? Because they set you, amen. amen. Hallelujah. To have something to attain up to. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And then they reflect your character. You reflect how you conduct yourself. Amen. A church here at Spangled Bay. Hallelujah. Glory to Almighty God. We've got even ambitions. Amen. Amen. The things that I'm saying are part of our ambitions. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Then it says our direction. Amen. Of what we want to achieve in the year coming. Amen. Amen. It says our ambition of what we want to be year in, year out. Hallelujah. It gives us a particular character. It gives us a particular mood. Amen. Hallelujah. It sets us of how we can have the virtue to our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And our behavior among his others. Amen. 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 Why? Because we are built up on a vision Amen. Amen. of where we want to go. Amen. Amen. Okay, let's just end up with these stories. Amen. Amen. There was a certain book that the prophet says, Amen. By old tradition that is many slaves. Amen. I know you poor, we know you've heard about this story many times. But let's just read it from the way that I, I, I saw it last night. Amen. Amen. The store out of Africa was brought over here and sold. That's in America. They know they'd never go back to the homeland no more. Amen. They were set. Okay? Listen, they didn't want to work. These are slaves brought from West Africa or in the African region. Amen. And they've been taken over to America. Amen. And then when they got there, because they had no ambition. Yeah, they were out of their homeland. They were just sitting there. There was nothing to do. So there is no ambition. Amen. Those children that have been brought into this world, hallelujah, yeah, through the through the best of uh, their parents, amen, man. are just sitting there. They've got no ambition. Yeah, man. Amen. When you've got no ambition, you've got nothing to move you. Amen. Man. Look what happened to these people. Amen. And so they would sometimes take whips. And you whip those people to make them work. Amen. amen. That's what the devil does. Amen. amen. When you've got no ambition, amen. The devil knows that ah, you are sitting idle. You don't have anything to do. Let me make you work. Amen. amen. You will take up something and whip you. I'm not saying God, I'm saying the devil. Amen. amen. The devil wants to whip you with illness, whip you in putting you into prison, whip you in certain things. Why? Because you've got no ambition of amen. yourself. Mm. You're just idle. Mm. Amen. You don't want to do anything for God. You just want to sit in church. You just want to come, amen. You got nothing that you want to do, amen. You said, ah, so what use of it? Let me bring a bit of, 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 of a child here, yeah, amen. Make things a bit safe at work. Make things a bit safe at home. Make things a bit safe. Maybe when they come, they might be, they would know what they have. That's what they would do in the sense, amen. With those people to make them work. Just like you would they were also an animal, amen. Why? Because they had no ambition. They were putting themselves into those whippings because of no ambitions. That's why I want to bring this to you. Amen? He said, and this slave Abai came by and looked over his slaves to see how many he could buy. And he found there was one fair young fellow there. They didn't have to be people. Amen? This one fellow was a different among the rest. Amen? Man. He had his chest out and his chin up. Amen? There was something about this young fellow that set him apart. Amen? Amen. Okay, the prophet goes on to tell us what it was then. Amen? But let me tell you, the reason why he could put his chest up and his chin up, amen, because he knew whom he was, amen. amen. And he, there was something in him 
That is not that ambition. That I'm not going to be whipped. Amen. Amen. I'm not going to be treated like a slave. I'm not going to be put into prisons of sickness. I'm not going to be put into prisons of being bound by evil spirits. I'm not going to be put into prisons of being treated like a, 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 a football that is kicked all over by everybody. Amen. Amen. I'm a child of God. I'm a daughter of God. I'm somebody who's worthy of value. Amen. So I'm not going to treat myself like anybody. I might have been I might have come to the United Kingdom and the people don't know me here, but why am I at the university? Why am I at college? I'll conduct myself as a daughter of God. I'll conduct myself as a son of God. I will prove the devil wrong. Amen. That I've got an ambition. Hallelujah. To be so value. Amen. Why? Because you've got an ambition. But if you don't have an ambition to do anything, you don't even do your homework, you don't even do your, your what your, your teacher asks you, you don't even do what your tutorial, you don't end in your assignment, you don't do this. Do you know what? There will be whippings. Amen. There will be things that will come to whip you. Amen. Amen. Why? Because the devil now says, ah, this one doesn't want to do their things. Amen. Why? God wants you to be active. Do you have an ambition? Amen. Amen. Okay. Father Abraham says, he was right up and all it. And ate it all the time, amen. So the broker said, you want, say, I want to buy that slave. The broker said, It's not for sale, amen. I love that, amen. amen. There's a song which I love called Not for Sale, amen. amen. The broker said, It's not for sale. Amen. Why? Because he was different, amen. 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 If you are different, you are not going to be sold, hallelujah. Amen. If you are different, not just going to be sit of your no value, amen. amen. You are different, what? So you conduct yourself as the son of God. Amen. Amen. And they know it. Amen. They know it. They know that you are different. Amen. Amen. Just a few days ago, on a Friday night, I had to go and watch the uh, give out stuff awards to my staff. Amen. Amen. And then I was given the words, and they could know that I'm different. Amen. amen. Not because I was dressed smart of which I was, but it was in that. Amen. amen. It was because I am different. Amen. Amen. They are behaving as of drinking and doing that. So, we think, so look, what are you drinking now? I said, I'm drinking this. Let's go. Amen. Amen. Are you going to put anything in? No, no, no. Don't drink alcohol. Amen. Oh, why? I said, I'm a Christian. Amen. Amen. Simple. Amen. Amen. The, not, the natural thing that you are in, that's what I am. Amen. 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 And then from then what they know. I'm different. Amen. 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 Then another one came, but you didn't know. That's the one that I identified now. You, you didn't know because this one got surprised. Amen. No, you didn't know. <laughs> Don't you know the way he behaves? Amen. 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 He's trying to see what I behave like. Amen. Amen. And what I am now to identify. No, no, no. Even without them reading the Bible. Amen. Amen. They know my kind of behavior. Amen. They can achieve it to it. Don't you see the way he behaves? Praise God. That is the question. Amen. Amen. So they know it. Amen. When you contact yourself in that manner. And that you are not going to sell your best. You are not going to sell your identity as a Christian. Amen. Hallelujah. Why? Because you have got an ambition Amen. to attain Hallelujah. Amen. a place where you are going to rest eternally with your king. Amen. Well, what makes him so much different from the rest of the other slaves? Maybe he's a boss. You've met him boss over the rest of them. And the owner said, No, I've never met him boss. He's just like any one of the people. Amen. Amen. He's just like one of you. Amen. You are not different to the people that are out there. Amen. Amen. The same blood that Christ died for you, he died for others also. Amen. 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 The only difference is you've acknowledged it. Amen. 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 And you are to believe in doing the acknowledgement of the blood Amen. of Lord Jesus Christ and their salvation. Amen. Amen. But you are not different. Amen. Amen. The mistakes that they make, you can make them too. Amen. Amen. But the difference is you know where you can get your redemption out of yes, it. Amen. They put, Amen. The sickness they get, you can get it too. Amen. Amen. But the difference is you know where you can get your sickness healed. Amen. 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 The child they go through, you go through the same child as well. Amen. Amen. But the difference is you know the deliverer yes, that will deliver you out of it. Amen. Amen. You've got a place, a secret place. Amen. Amen. Where you can hide Amen. to get out of it. Amen. Amen. Okay. Maybe you fit in better than you fit in the rest of the slaves. No, they all eat over there in the garden, all of them together. Then the broker said, What makes this young fellow so much different from the little thing? And this owner said, I wondered about that for some time. Yeah, Amen. Man. But you know, one day I found out over in the homeland where they came, this young fellow's father yeah. is the king of the tribe. Ah. These children here. Yeah, Hallelujah. 
their father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He's the father of all heaven. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So their behavior is different. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. It's because they have a particular characteristic. Amen. 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 That when it goes out in there, whether we are in haste, hallelujah, meetings, or we are in London, or we are going somewhere, yeah. there will be a particular characteristic yeah. that these people that come out of speckled bed, they've got a particular characteristic. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. They are different. Yeah. Amen. Amen. They love God. Amen. Amen. They have an ambition. They are after souls. Amen. Amen. There's Amen. each fellowship that has its own characteristics. Right. Amen. Amen. And that's something we wait. Amen. That is Christian. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We should have a particular characteristic based upon what we believe in the word of God. Amen. 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 It identifies us. Amen. Amen. Notice any different in any other fellowship Amen. but with the word of God. Amen. Amen. Okay. I wanted to leave this out, but I want to say it I, too. So let me say it. Amen. Amen. It reminds me one time I don't like to say this word, but it was just a bum. It's a wrong way to use a bum. Amen. It's mainly in the long run, this woman, there's people that don't have any place to live. They just go all over. They are dated, they are filthy, and so forth. That came to the door and he said, Could you give me a sandwich? I said, Certainly. Would you step in? And instead of making me a sandwich, I thought I'll fix him something to eat. I fix him up just about what I put around the place and set him down to eat. Amen. He asked for a sandwich. Amen. But the prophet went a bit further. Amen. They made him a meal. Amen. And in the meal, he set him down and now they are talking. Amen. And then while he was eating, I thought I would speak to him, seeing that he was a child. I said, where did you come from? Amen. Trying to figure out where this person had come from. He said, he just shuffled his shoulders a little and said, no way. I said, then where are you going? He stopped eating, looked up at me, and said, no way. He looked around and saw the big pipe and said, just say, just where my rest is waiting, that's, that's where I rest. Amen. Man. So he didn't have any place to stay. Amen. He was homeless. Amen. He didn't know where he stay. He would just go and wander like this poem that damn gifted catch of. Amen. Amen. You just let them out of the cow pen and then they just go. They were just wonder, you know, don't know where they're going. Amen. They didn't even have a way of coming back. Have you been a headman? Amen. I've been a headman, of course. Amen. Man. You just let them go and you don't know. You have to be sent back to go and collect them. Amen. Man. But not sheep. Amen. Sheep will follow. Amen. You just go and they will hear. Or you say something and then the sheep will hear the voice. Amen. And then they know the shepherd's voice. Amen. And they will just follow. Amen. But not cows. Cows are just good. They will know where to go. They will just eat the grass and the leaves, just wander about, you know. Because they are just cows. Amen. Man. And he says, How long have you been doing this? He says, Some 20 years or more. Amen. There are more people that are out there just wandering with no ambition to better himself. Man. That's what bums are. They don't have an ambition. They don't want to be better. Amen. When everybody is making themselves trying to be better a person, not just about the attitude of people. Just what I call drifters, floaters, and the people who join the church is just about the same. This is the language of Brother Brennan's man. The people who join, not poor man. There are certain people that want to join in the not poor man. Amen. It's just about the same. I've often thought of floating in driftwood. Driftwood is just, it just hangs up in any kind of rush. That's just about the way this floater does in the church anyway. You take a stream like the stream of life. Plenty of driftwood hanging up in every trash car. Yet the boat has come along made out of wood too. Amen. Is it in a stream? Amen. Where well, water is flowing. Amen. There are floaters. There are floaters going up. Hallelujah. Amen. Down the stream. Amen. But in that midst of the stream, there's a boat as well. Okay? That flows down the wood. Amen. Amen. Listen to this boat. He says, But if you notice, the wood that makes the boat is made and shaped out. By a master who is built in the The God that brought us into this earth, Amen. Amen. It's shaped us, Amen. And it's molded us, Amen. It's put us in a particular character, Hallelujah. Amen. That we can go through the streams of life, Hallelujah. Amen. Built it up, Hallelujah, Amen. by the master himself, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Not only is it shaped out, but it's guided Amen. by the master. Amen. Our lives are guided by the master, Amen. 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 It is pushed by a power. Yes. That boat is not just a boat. Amen. Man. It's got a power somewhere in the back there. Man. That if you switch it on, it goes forward. Amen. Man. Hallelujah. Why? Because it's going to a stream. Amen. 
But then they speak of that thing that floats us in this world. Yeah, man. They are just a flash of power on the edge of the stream somewhere there. Flash of power on the edge of the stream somewhere there. Do you know what the stream is? If it's flowing down here, like this, hallelujah, those yeah, flash will just flow the down you up here. But the boats, hallelujah, yeah, can flow upwards. Amen. Did you hear of Brother Branham's day? Amen. When he was in 1937, somewhere there, when there was a flood, amen, and the, the people were calling him, amen, and they just out to go and rescue people in the flood, amen, and while he was rescuing people, he missed someone, amen, amen. and his heart went out for somebody, he said, I'll go back, amen, and he jumped into a boat, amen, and when he jumped into that boat, hallelujah, he went down that boat, hallelujah, and that boat was now going towards the way the stream of that boat was going. And just beyond that stream, there was going to be a waterfall. Amen. Where the wall falls, where the wall falls, people here from Zimbabwe might know the waterfalls, amen, or Naraka falls, amen, where there's a cliff and the water that falls, and he was not going to survive, amen. amen. He tried to switch on the boat, it didn't switch. He tried to switch on the boat, it didn't switch. Amen. He tried to switch on the boat, it didn't switch. Amen. Hallelujah. Ah, amen. And he said, well, what's wrong? And then God brought him to a memory that he failed to go to the Pentecostal when God wanted him. His mother-in-law, he, 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 he told him, don't take my daughter there. Amen. amen. And when he remembered and he viewed, amen. Amen. he made a view of that amen. ambition. He had an ambition to go there, but he was stopped. Amen. Hallelujah. But when he made a view of that, hallelujah, amen. he said, Lord, have mercy for me. I will go there. Hallelujah. He turned on the engine again, and the engine of that boat started. Hallelujah. And when it started, it was able to go upstream. Amen. Amen. The water was coming this way, and the boat was going the opposite direction. Amen. That's what the Christian does. When the world is going this way, the Christian goes the opposite direction. Amen. It's like a airport trout, a fish. It doesn't fish, it doesn't swim with the current. Amen. It swims against the current. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So in this life, as you view yourself, amen, shall we say that, amen? Amen. You've got to take note, amen, of your ambitions, amen? Amen. Are you willing to let the master craftsman make out a profile that which he could use, that which he could control, that in which he could have power, amen? Amen. Well, I mean, this statement says that craftsman sometimes gets stuck by the weeds somewhere, amen? Amen. And if it gets stuck by the weeds somewhere, it then cannot move because it's stuck. Maybe this year there will be some places where you got stuck. Hallelujah. Amen. And God says you need to go back in the middle of the stream. Amen. God has given us a power in our hearts. He says you shall receive power when you receive the Holy Ghost. Amen. And the Holy Ghost that has been given into our hearts is got great power to drive you out of that stream. Amen. To take you out. Amen. And get you back to this mainstream again. Amen. Hallelujah. God wants to move and make us want to be. Amen. Praise God. Uh, you want to think of you take away those thoughts of wanting to be your own way. Amen. And then you have a certain element of believing that you can make it. Amen. When that power has been ignited, the Holy Ghost Himself inside you, Amen, is a power. Amen. Amen. Is 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 the resurrection and power? Hallelujah. There's a power that God gives unto us, amen, amen. For us to set our ambitions right, amen. amen. As we review the ambitions of life, amen. As we review what kind of uh, what we what, what kind of goal and setting you want to be, amen. amen. If you have been stuck somewhere this year, amen. amen. Then you felt like there was some place that you were not able to move, amen. amen. God's power is here tonight. Amen. God is God's power today, right now. Amen. Right now, it is here. Amen. amen. He's got the power to ignite you. Amen. amen. As you bow our heads. Amen. amen. He can ignite amen. your goal. Amen. amen. All right. There's a precious light in place. Amen. 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 That God can send you through. Amen. So that He can ignite you. Amen. All right. Where He can set you up. Amen. To your ambitions, amen. There is a prayer, just hiding place in Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ, there is a place of heavenly grace in Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ. 
their ambitions and their purpose in life. There's a new view, you know. There's a church of God. A church of a living God. It's not 29 actual Lord. It's got an ambition. It's got high expectations of what God is doing and is able to do, Lord. Father, I pray even for this fellowship of God. We want to set our ambitions and our expectations right, Lord. We want to get back to what it was on the day of Pentecost. Get back to the face of our fathers. Get back to the days, Father God, when the word is true before us. And our doubt-related father, and to bring forth the signs and the seeds of its own self, oh God. Why? Because, Heavenly Father, that's our aim, that's our ambition, oh God. To see the word of God, Father God, he takes to his perfection, oh God. May you grant it in us, Father. Grant it in every brother. God is in every sister, dear Lord. Father, some, dear Lord, will vent before, Lord, but they've been going through health difficulties. Maybe you told their health, Heavenly Father. It wasn't so in the beginning, Father. And it has really been so now, Lord. Father, may you restore, Father God Almighty. They may to good health, Father God Almighty. That they can see, Almighty God, that the ambitions of God was to bring prosperity of health, Lord. Not only in health, only Father, you have made us to be the head and not the tail, Lord. We are no competition with anybody, but we know, Lord God Almighty, that we've got the same blessings that fell upon Joseph. That whatever he touched upon, be prospered, Father. May you make each brother, each sister prosper, Lord, whether it be in their academics, whether it be in their school, Lord, whether it be in their work, Lord, whether it may be in any place that they are doing, as long as they bring back, Father. And if you want to take to day basis of their end for the next day, for the next week, for the next month, for the next season, for the next year, for the next decade, your Lord, for their lifespan, Father, each day they are setting ambitions before you, Lord. May those ambitions, Father, prosper. May they prosper, Father. You are the giver of all good gifts, Father. I pray, dear God Almighty, open doors for them, dear Lord Jesus, where the door sins may be closed, Father. Show forth your greatness and your power and your majesty, Father, that they will become beneficiaries, Father, of this word of God, Father. There's no one that comes to Christ, Father, and he takes back the same, Father. There's benefits, oh God, that goes along with the Father with being a child and a daughter of God. May we be granted the benefits that comes along, Father, to be your children, Father. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you the honor. We give you the glory, Father. May you bless your children, Father. Bless the fellowship, Lord, and them that may not have been able to come, Lord God Almighty. May you be with each one of them, Lord. I thank you. I give you the glory. I give you the, the honor in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Glory to Almighty God. Amen. We pray the Lord. We thank the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us again. Hallelujah.
there are beneficiaries that goes along with coming to church. Amen. amen. Our ambitions are set up right. Amen. 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 And we are changed. Amen. The war. Amen. amen. Give me a good song, whatever song that you want. Amen. Amen. What's your favorite song, my brother? I've been sorry for putting you on the spot. Amen. Amen. Give me all Give me all in my life. Keep me burning. Give me all in my life. By grace. message 
what a message in season, Lord Jesus Christ, just to wind up the year in style of Almighty God. It is your way of doing things, Lord God Almighty. We know your style, Lord Jesus Christ. You always give us spiritual food in due season, O oh Lord. What a way, Lord Jesus Christ, of ending the year. Lord Jesus Christ, just to review, Almighty God, on whatever ambitions you have revealed unto us, O oh Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Father God Almighty, it's always a blessing when you reveal your ambitions, O oh God, for us and to us, Almighty God, so that we can move by them, O oh Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. and wait for them and be used by them, O oh Lord God Almighty. Amen. And O oh Father, even along the way, O oh Jesus Christ, to be helped of thee. And at the end of a certain period, O oh Lord Jesus Christ, just to sit down, Almighty oh God, and have a review, O oh Father, of what we have attained, O oh Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we are grateful for having us, Almighty oh God, into this place, O oh God, at this time, O oh Lord Jesus Christ. We are thankful for all the blessings that you gave unto us, Almighty oh God. All the painful areas, Lord Jesus Christ, we know that they were learning points. Almighty oh God, whatever Amen. the devil might have stolen from us, O oh God, throughout the course of the year, we pray for restoration, O oh Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And we pray that our hearts also may be transformed by the same, O oh God. May we learn, O oh Lord Jesus Christ, and continue to learn like the prophet was encouraging us to do, O oh Lord Jesus Christ. The moment we stop learning, O oh God, we will die. But we want to live, O oh Lord Jesus Christ, and help us as such, O oh God, to be a people that are always in need of learning, O oh Lord Jesus Amen. Christ. So that it helps us, O oh God, in the year that's coming ahead, O oh God, yes, not only for ourselves, O oh Lord Jesus Christ, but even for the community, even for our families, O oh Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We are a candle set upon a you, O oh Lord Jesus Christ, and we cannot be hidden, but we are supposed to give light unto others, Amen. inspiration unto others, direction unto others, and even life itself, O oh Almighty God. Amen. We are grateful, O oh God, for the service that has gone forth. May you restore the power that's gone out of the preacher, as he labored under the anointing of the Holy Spirit, O oh Almighty God. All the prayer requests that's been read, O oh Almighty God, thou knowest them all by name, O oh Lord Jesus Christ. And mainly, Lord Jesus Christ, some that are they have not been mentioned, O oh God, like the musician, his son, O oh Lord Jesus Christ. Those yes, private Lord. ones, O oh God, that are, that may be embarrassing, yes. that may be so private. Lord Jesus Christ, thou knowest them by the name, O oh Almighty God. May you come and attend unto them, O oh Lord Jesus Christ. That Amen. is our prayer. The people that failed to come to service, may you bless them, O oh Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, and somehow, O oh God, through the working of the Holy Spirit, may they be in the same spirit of the message, O oh God, Amen. of today, O oh God. May they be ambitious people, and may they be grateful, O oh Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. to have you on their side of their ambitions. Yes, and may this great power of faith drive them, drive their ambitions, O oh Lord Jesus Christ, unto a point where all things are possible. One of these things, oh my God, that is our prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, as we depart from this place, we pray for your blessings, oh Lord Jesus Christ, to go with us and to Amen. go before us, oh God. Until we meet again, we pray committing all these things into thine own capable hands. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The name of Jesus be.
Just stay.